Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and this week on Paddle Tales, we're exploring Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. Spanning 75 miles and 69,000 acres, Lake Gunnersville is Alabama's largest lake, but it's much more than a big body of water. Recognized as one of the crown jewels of the Southeast, Gunnersville is a world-renowned fishing destination, which regularly hosts championship tournaments and which Bassmaster Magazine ranked number two out of the 100 best lakes of the decade. But Lake Gunnersville is more than just an epic fishing destination. It's an outdoor lover's paradise. It's surrounded by great hiking and biking trails and is an integral part of the new Tennessee River Line, a 625 mile long water trail system that follows the Tennessee River from Knoxville, Tennessee to its confluence with the Ohio River in Paducah, Kentucky. On the southern shore of the lake, on a long peninsula surrounded by water, you'll find the small and beautiful town of Gunnersville, with its small shops, waterfront restaurants, and the cool new city harbor development that'll bring even more restaurants, microbreweries, and waterfront lodging options to the area. While I'm definitely looking forward to enjoying everything the area has to offer, including some fine southern comfort meals, I'm excited to hook up with Matt Ward from Alpha Expeditions to get my first taste of the area from water level. This episode of Paddle Tales is brought to you by NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Pakiak. Well, how cool is that? A 14 foot kayak goes together from a bag to a boat in three minutes. Now it's time to get on the water because we are on Lake Gunnersville. This is first experience on the lake. This is Morgan's Cove, sun's coming out. We got a ways to go. This is gonna be good. Do the whole trip like this. <laughs> Backwards. Backwards paddle, yeah, Only so we can just sit here and talk, you know? You don't have to worry about a headwind. I don't, yeah. Never have headwind if you paddle backwards the whole time. We have a double mission today. Our mission is, well, for me, get a first taste of paddling on Lake Gunnersville. But the second mission is to see what Matt tells me is one of the best places to watch the sunset in the whole valley. Where is it we're going? I'm just following you. I'm just paddling right, <laughs> right. now. So Morgan's <laughs> Cove comes out uh, right at the, uh, the South Saudi Bridge, South Saudi to Langston Bridge. And the channel is right there. Okay. Just beyond that, the channel starts to open up. We get a little bit of an expanse and then we will go under that bridge out to the main channel. And by the time we get there, our friend, the sun will be setting on us. And because it yeah. runs east to west, you have this long expanse of water that the sun just gets to dance on as it's setting. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And then on both sides, you have mountains. And so you're sitting in this valley yeah. with the mountains curving upward, the sun setting down in the middle of it. Well, I certainly don't want to wish away any of this blue sky afternoon, but I am looking forward to seeing a classic Gunnersville sunset. Morgan's Cove is a really great spot to start a paddling trip in the Lake Gunnersville area because it's pretty sheltered. You can go up the cove, up the creek, and it gets narrow, and you can go a long way up there and stay protected from wind and waves. Or you can go the other direction. You can go towards the main channel where if it's not too windy, you can paddle in the guts of the lake itself. But along the way, there's so much to explore as well. It might actually be deep right along that shoreline. Just gotta get there. Oh! So close, it's right there. 
See, why did I follow you here? <laughs> I told you we were gonna run aground. <laughs> this is actually a pretty deep channel though, right here. I can't not see how far it goes. It's just not in my DNA to accept that we can't go there. As much as I enjoy paddling in lakes, it's finding the little creeks and rivers and exploring, seeing, can I get up there? Oh, you think there's a channel there? Could be. And oftentimes you try to and you don't make it anywhere. You just hit shallows or just dead ends. But sometimes these little offshoots or these little creeks, you can wind your way up and attain for quite a ways. Bad choice. Ha, ah, listen to that. You can hear flowing water. I don't know, there may, might be a channel here. Yeah, looks like there is. How cool is this? <laughs> Love it. Well, Matt, Matt was definitely right. Morgan's Cove is a amazing place to watch the sunset, but that time of night for me, it's more than just the sunset. The sunsets are beautiful to watch, absolutely, but it's just, it's, everything just drops down a notch. Usually the wind lays down, the, the water just smooths out, boat traffic all but disappears. It's just a, wonderful, beautiful, calm time of the day. Well, day one on Lake Gunnersville is sadly coming to a beautiful end, but we're far from done exploring this lake. Tomorrow, we're going somewhere else.